grazing with paws in the bombers. The endangered thousand white rhinos have found a new and safe home in the warm and low-lying plains of Akagera National Park, Rwanda's only protected savanna. Akagera, regarded as Central Africa's largest protected wetland with two rainy seasons a year, conservationists believe this is just the perfect environment for these white rhinos, which feed entirely on grasses. We believe that um, that this park, we this is the first time I've visited here, but just driving from the north, um, is prime rhino, white rhino habitat. Um, I would say probably 85% of white rhino left in the world occurs in, in South Africa, but they are really uh, b becoming, um, they're actually heading to extinction, the white rhino. Um, in the last 10 years, uh, we have lost 10,000 uh, white rhino to poaching in South Africa. Um, that is, uh, uh, it's three rhinos a day basically are getting shot and killed. And the, the, the reason for that is the demand for rhino horn in the Far East, mainly Vietnam and, and China. And so in the last 10 years, we've seen an absolute slaughter of, of white rhino to the point where um, I think conservationists are extremely worried. 30 white rhinos, 19 females and 11 males were donated by Pinda Private Game Reserve sedated and driven from KwaZulu-Natal province to Durban airport in South Africa, flown to Kigali aboard a chartered plane, and then transported by road to Akagera National Park, completing a 40-hour journey of more than 3,400 kilometers, a remarkable translocation and logistical mission that cost about 320,000 US dollars. But the overall cost of this historic translocation could go up to a million US dollars, according to Jess Gruner, Regional Manager of African Parks, a conservation organization managing Rwanda, Zakagera, and Nyungwe National Parks. It's a huge process. Um, initially thought about five years ago, um, and then really started getting motion three years ago. Unfortunately, COVID had a bit of a delaying impact here. It's a, it's a figure of a, about a million dollars um, from building the crates, chartering the aircraft, all the vet expertise, building everything here in Rwanda and transporting them by trucks, and then also looking after them for the next year. Now we have white rhinos, we will always have to look after them, and it'll always um, need, need finance or money for that. But we've also built up a team, an extra team of 12 members of staff to track these daily. The rhinos, which can weigh up to two tons, arrived at Kigali International Airport from South Africa in a Boeing 747 in the early hours of Sunday morning before being transported in their crates to Akagera and later released into the bombers as they continue to get familiar with the new environment. The additional 30 white rhinos bring the total number of rhinos in Akagera to 56, including the black rhinos which arrived in Akagera in 2015 and 2017. Arya Akageruka, the acting chief tourism officer at Rwanda Development Board, says this is a huge boost in reviving Akagera's conservation tourism portfolio. These things that we're doing today, we're not translocating or we're not just celebrating that these animals have found, obviously, a secure and safe place, uh, but they will be enabling. Um, it will be just ad uh, also um, adding, into, uh, adding value into our tourism industry, um, creating more conservation value into this national park and also uh, for the country but most importantly, delivering results for communities uh, that we've been partnering for the last many years to make conservation a success story in Rwanda. According to the World Life Fund, the thousand white rhinos are now considered endangered with about 18,000 individuals remaining. The International Union of Conservation of Nature has classified this species as near threatened, but there is belief that in Rwanda, they have found a safe breeding space to thrive. Now, with the introduction of these white rhinos in Akagera National Park, the population of rhinos in total, black or white, gets to 56. Now, the park managers say that the park can accommodate over 300 rhinos, black or white. But that will depend on how the authorities and the managers are able to work together with communities to ensure a safe environment for these endangered species. Reporting for RTV News, Ethan Tashabia in Akagera National Park.